So we'll be lifting the engine and the big question is what do we do with it? Do we buy a new one or do we keep this old uh, Perkins? Well, some of you have seen the state of it on our previous videos and even mentioned how rusty it is all over, especially around the mounts. That's not, the mounts are not a big issue. Uh, but yeah, it loses a lot of oil. It also burns uh, too much oil and the smoke it leaves behind, it's uh, uh, quite embarrassing actually at times. On top of that, during each passage, we were always worried that it might fail us. Uh, luckily, it didn't. But overall, you could say that the engine is uh, somewhat under, uh, under the weather. The idea of a new engine uh, sounds great. I'm not gonna lie. There are companies out there uh, offering brand new engines uh, with gearbox, uh, new panel, uh, but the price is, is a killer for us. We have to face it. Uh, we simply cannot afford a new uh, engine. Luckily we have a good friend Grzegorz who is way more comfortable around the subject of engines and he has put us at ease explaining the whole process of uh, refurbishment. Not only will most of the crucial components will be replaced um, but the, the, the whole engine will also be uh, sandblasted and uh, then repainted and we are pretty uh, confident that uh, the engine will come back looking um, almost as, <laughs> as good as new. Uh, to sum up, uh, we are keeping the good old Perkins, but the engine will be refurbished abroad and not in the UK. Uh, Grzegorz, uh, our friend, he's got a trusted mechanic who has worked on these types of engines for many years. Uh, the only issue is that he worked on those ones that were fitted in tractors, not uh, the marinized version, but um, I guess it's not rocket science and he will get to the bottom of it uh, very quickly. You might be thinking now that uh, we are crazy doing that. We could obviously get it done here. And yes, we could, uh, but in order to keep it, the price uh, tag as low as possible, and also leave it with someone who is um, someone you can trust uh, to do a thorough job, we are sending it to Poland, just for those reasons. Oh, and there's one more thing. Uh, there's one tiny obstacle associated with uh, sending it abroad, and that is Brexit. As you know, UK is no longer in EU, uh, where we plan to send the engine. I have to say it's kind of giving me a headache uh, for some time now, because I've spent like a couple of weeks uh, trying to find out uh, how we go about uh, sending something abroad and so that we don't pay customs uh, when the engine returns back to the UK. And that process is called, for those who are interested, uh, Outward Processing Relief, so OPR for short. That applies to things that are being exported only temporarily out of the UK for uh, repair. We do realize that uh, we are potentially uh, opening a kind of worms here uh, with the whole engine rebuild. But like I said, um, we cannot afford a new engine right now, so we need to take the risk. Uh, we really put all our hopes into this engine, running smoothly for another 40 years or so. Well, smoothly might be a bit of an exaggeration, but I think only time will tell whether this was a good or a bad uh, decision. Okay, but obviously before we send it, we need to hold it up first. Uh, I think we are extremely lucky in the fact that um, we have the opening in a uh, cockpit uh, floor, which is right above the engine, so that should be pretty straightforward. Uh, the question is, will the engine come out in one piece or will we have to take it apart? Now that's what we need to find out today. Um, the day is a little bit overcast, um, I just hope it doesn't rain too much, because obviously we'll be opening a cockpit area, but it should clear out uh, soon. So yeah, let's get changed, let's get ready and get on with it. Let's measure the engine now. Yeah, some of the parts we will have to remove. Is it? Definitely we have to remove alternator. Mm -hmm. And I think this heat exchanger as well. Mm. I'm not liking the sound of it, but it is what it is. 
I mean, still, we have to be grateful that we've got this access. Can you imagine actually trying to get it out through the companion way? No, it's crazy. Yeah. So I think we should be grateful for what we've got. One thing which I'm not really good at is the mechanics. Engines, they scare me. Before any parts are disassembled, we drain coolant first, followed by the engine oil. So after removing the heat exchanger, which was the biggest part of the engine, I also remove alternator. I think I have to remove all of that part here, which is an exhaust and part of the oil system. Then I will have to release engine on the engine mounts. When that's done, and when we have something underneath the engine to lift the engine up, I have to remove those engine mounts from engine body and then we will have enough space to lift it up. What I did found in here, I didn't even, I just touched that one, so look on this one. There is no, it's nothing there. It's nothing there holding this. It's coming into the full, so the thread is completely gone. It's nothing there. I think this, this is, this is like an answer why we had like a lot of oil coming all up. the time coming up. Yeah. 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 Plenty of reasons why, isn't it? Plenty. Stuff that we can do right now. Okay. You carry on and I uh, put a dinner on. Yeah. <laughs> So after a whole day, playing around, taking bolts out from the engine, it's time if I will see if I can move the gearbox. So for, so for this I'm going to use a very precise tool. Crowbar. Crowbar. Yeah, it's moving. Nice. Nice. We are not that far from our goal to get everything ready to remove the engine, which is going to happen in the next few days. Great. Everything was going so well thus far. So clearly we were long overdue for things to go wrong. biggest problem uh, was this one here most of those bolts which they were, were uh, joined to the engine block they go really easily those two they were a nightmare this one I managed quite all right but as you can see but this one like you can see it took me yeah, this is what it took to get it out so right now we need to we replace need that this. Part. We have no idea what it's called actually, so we have to research. We will check the manual today and hopefully we can get it in a uh, in a good price, quite cheap. High five! High five! High five! <laughs> <laughs> the following weekend we had few friends join us on board and they were happy to help with removing and folding sails. We then removed boom on both masts and of course the weekend wouldn't be complete without some more sanding. Get going up, 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 up
In the evenings, we hung out and celebrated a birthday. Because sometimes you just need time to relax, and that's okay too. Teraz wszyscy razem. Ojej. Anioły wieszczackie, wieszczackie anioły. Dużo was radości. We want to say a big thank you to all that are following us here and also welcome to our new subscribers. We hope we inspire more of you to join the ever-growing community of boat owners. See you next time.